For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, uh, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that uh, how to check hardware information like uh, whenever you have installed the operating system on the uh, servers or the desktop machines or the laptop machines like Linux, CentOS or scientific Linux, Fedora or CentOS or Red Hat Linux. So any of these uh, you have installed but you wanted to know that what is this um, serial number of that particular a laptop or the desktop or the server then uh, you wanted to identify what is this serial number what is the BIOS uh, version currently which is using and what is the maximum RAM capacity which supports and what is what type of CPU can be supported on that particular hardware all of this information so most of the times what we do is that we get this uh, hardware and uh, we verify this hardware by plugging off those parts and verify those serial numbers on the uh, online or verify those model in online right but instead of that we can use these existing tools which we have in a linux operating system to verify this uh, details so how we can do that so one of the uh, command which is called dmi decode okay so which is a dmi table uh, decoder so which will be more useful uh, which will provide so the dmi decode dmi decode is a tool for dumping a computer's dmi so some says like smbios table contents in human readable format basically whenever you uh, get those dmi data which is not exactly in um, human readable format but this tool will provide the table content in a human readable format this table contains a description of the system's hardware components like that's what we exactly want so whenever you install you don't want to remove those parts and uh, uh, verify those information by removing the parts so instead what you can do is that you can just use this tool to get those pieces of information such as serial number and bios revision versions all of this okay so thanks to this table you can retrieve the information without having to probe for the actual hardware so while this is a good point in terms of report speed and safeness like example if you pull any of this hardware and uh, you cannot reassemble back sometimes so most of the people do not have that idea how to uh, remove those parts safely and put it safely so that's why so this table would be in a most speed and safeness for getting the data so the dmi table does not only describe what system is currently made of it also can report the possible evolution so such as the fastest supported cpu or maximum amount of memory supported so how much maximum memory you can put on those slats so what is the supported cpu you can install on that hardware all of these details so how you can get this serial number using this dmid code so dmid code iphone t iphone system so that is one of the command which will provide you in detail information about this what is the uh, manufacturer uh, which means that what is the brand of that uh, hardware and what is its product so what is this model of that hardware like uh, power edge uh, r730 something like that what is its serial number what is its uid okay so all of these details will be provided but if you want to only the serial number you can also use dmid code iphone s system serial number so that it will only provide the system serial number on that particular command so check the bios information how you can verify this bios information is that uh, dmid code iphone t bios so which will provide all of this related to the bios information so where it will provide uh, what exactly is the release date currently the bios was installed and what is what is its uh, revision version so you can see that the current bios revision version is 2.11 something like that and um, all of this in information which can provide you over here okay so like isa supported pci pnp so all of this 
you can see that the BIOS is upgradable. So, so if it is upgradable means you can upgrade to the next level of the version or something like that. So that's why you can see that all of this uh, BIOS related information over here. So like this, if you want to see particular to the uh, what is the vendor of that BIOS, you can also use iPhone S option uh, like BIOS vendor and iPhone S version. See particularly you want to see only the version of that BIOS version. You can also see that and if you want to see the what is the release date so all of these details are available over here as well but if you want to see particularly only this like only version you can use bios version if you want to see only release date you can also see that but if you want to type that bios type so that it will give you all of this information in a single screen okay so let's see that so what is the pc slots are currently available in your system and what is those um, uh, model like uh, it has a form factor like 3 into 16 like that so that is the form factor of that particular pca slot so if you want to see that part what is that uh, particular pc slot information how many pc slots we have what what are those and what is there uh, form factor you can also see this you can see here uh, PCIe slot 1 and type is X8 PCIe Express 3x16 so like there are two slot on uh, the form factor is available one is 3 and one is 16 together is called as a PCIe slot so that is what you can get it the PC information from the uh, this dmid code so this is very very useful so you can use dmid code iphone t slot is the command where you can get the all the slots information presented on the motherboard so here is the hardware information how you can get it so dmid code baseboard product name so what exactly is the baseboard product model so you can just get this product name and search for exactly if you want to replace your baseboard then you can just get this details and uh, look for that same model so you can just get the uh, same thing so what is this baseboard version we can also see that so dmi code uh, serial number so the complete serial number is here which is the uh, service tag with the board number so which is called as a baseboard serial number and what is the manufacturer whether it is a dell whether it is hp whether it is ibm so all uh, that uh, manufacturer details will be get it over here okay so if you type if you see that what is the chases type chases in the sense the server uh, form factor or the server uh, model so which is rack mounted chases which means that rack rack server so there are tower models are available desktop models are available as well as the uh, tabletop uh, is available and rack mount servers are available so based on that what type of the server which you are currently using so you can get this uh, using the chases type so it is rack mounted chases so you have any chases version like example like most of the uh, vendors they may provide or they may not provide so example like what is this 4u unit or 2u unit or 1u unit something like that so they will give this chases details so if you want to see that exactly says serial number or the server service tag or both are same so you can see that that details as well over here using the chases serial number and uh, so if you would like to get some of the more details like what is the asset tag of that particular uh, hardware so this is something most of the times internal so you can feed this uh, asset tag uh, while installing your hardware and uh, so what is the processor family so what type of processor currently which is installed and what is the uh, uh, processor family is is Xeon and uh, what is the processor manufacturing so whether it is intel or whether it is a amd or something else so what is the processor version exactly what is the processor name and what is its version details so you can see that it is the intel xeon or cpu e5 series and version 4 you can see 3.50 gigahertz of that uh, processor so processor frequency so this is most of the times whenever you purchase any uh, desktop or laptop if you want to see that what is this frequency of that processor 
so which is 3.5 gigahertz or 3500 megahertz also same one and uh, what is the supported ram model and how much maximum capacity it can support so this is where you can verify this uh, details dmid code iphone t memory is the command so you can just type it and you can see the maximum capacity for that particular uh, is that three terabytes so it can support up to three terabyte maximum capacity of that uh, ser server so the currently installed ram over here it is 13 32 gb module and where it is installed and what is its manufacturing and what is the asset tank part number details and uh, what is its ranking factor all of this is available and what is its uh, speed so type ddr4 is the type and uh, what is its speed details also is available over here so this is very very in detailed information whenever you want to verify your hardware and with details and a few more commands which are available for you so dmid code bios dmid code system so which is also give the similar information what i have showed you in your previous slides so currently i am using the version is 3.2 so maybe if you have different versions few of the commands may work may not work but most of the uh, versions like from the two uh, 2.8 to 3.2 so these are the commands will work for the dmid code so you can use these commands to uh, get this hardware information um, from your hardware so dmid code bios system baseboard chases processor memory and cage connector what is the connector type which is currently installed or what is the connector type you can use all of this information you can get it from this uh, comments so that's about uh, guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses stay home stay safe